What is a mycotoxin and how can you harm my animals? Mycotoxins cost the agricultural sector billions of dollars in economic losses each year. According to the FAO, around 50% of the world's crop harvest might be contaminated with mycotoxins, which are known to reduce feed quality and impair animal health and performance. I'm going to explain what mycotoxins are and how they get into animal feed and the potential consequences for farm animals. Let's start with the definition of mycotoxins. Toxins are poisons, and the prefix mycos indicates that they come from microscopic fungi and molds. So why do mycotoxins exist? We do not know why mycotoxins exist, but one possible explanation is that they give the fungi that produce them a competitive advantage over other organisms. How do mycotoxins get into feedstuff then? While over 400 different mycotoxins metabolites have been identified, the fungi that produce them can be categorized into two groups. Field fungi, such as Fosarium, which typically produce mycotoxins in the field and pre-harvest. And we have storage fungi, such as Aspergillus and Penicillium, that typically occur after harvest and post-harvest. Though awareness of mycotoxins has risen in recent years, they still present a significant and sometimes overlooked challenge to the animal protein industry for two reasons. Mycotoxins are difficult to detect. They are invisible to the naked eye, tasteless, and they can cause harm to animals, even in small amounts. They are difficult to mitigate. Mycotoxins are chemically stable and temperature resistant, so they readily withstand the normal feed manufacturing processes. Application of a fungicide is not an effective mitigation method either, because it affects the fungi, which are living organisms, but it doesn't affect the toxin themselves. The negative effects of mycotoxins fall into two categories. First, we observe clinical effects at high concentrations, though in absolute term contamination levels are measured in parts per billions. That is the equivalent of a teaspoon of sugar poured into an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Second, we see more common complications at subclinical levels, where the animal is exposed to lower concentrations of mycotoxins for a prolonged period of time. Often, clinical symptoms are not observed, though general performances or health issues can occur. Some of the most serious effects of toxicity in animals include immune suppression, fertility reduction, disruption of gut integrity, decreased nutrient utilization, loss of appetite, and performance losses. To learn more about mycotoxins, visit mycotoxin.info. For strategies to protect your animals, visit biomin.net. If you are on social media, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram, basically everywhere except for MySpace. That's mainly for musicians. Nothing against musicians, mind you, but we are more into science and farming.